is Mother's Day today. I just got ready because we're gonna take the kids up to the pool later and hang out but I'm about to take a pregnancy test and my camera's actually charging right now. I went to grab it this morning and realized like my vlogging camera, it's like dead. So I'm charging it right now and I'm gonna try and bring it to the pool and film later today. But I wanted to get this on camera in case it's um, positive. And I, um, I'm about to go into the bathroom. I'm trying to be quiet just cause I don't want Alex to hear me. Um, cause I want to surprise him if it's uh, positive. So I'm going to go into the bathroom, pee on a stick, so glamorous. And then, um, you guys will see it with me. We'll, we'll see. But, um, again, I don't think it's going to be positive. So don't get excited. I said this in my last vlog. If you're super confused, head over to my last vlog. If you're cur curious as to why I'm even taking a pregnancy test, since I haven't taken the Clomid or anything like that, I explain my symptoms and reasoning and, um, why I'm just going to go ahead and take it and, and see, but I don't think I am. So don't get excited, but we will see in a second. I told you guys, I told y'all I didn't think it was gonna be positive. I am not having a keto baby like everyone thought. I honestly don't know why I've been feeling nauseous um, and I don't know why I don't like red wine anymore. It's just weird, it's weird, but I am not pregnant. It's a little disappointing to be honest because it would have been exciting to have gotten pregnant on my own without using Clomid, but it looks like I'm gonna need to use it in order to have that third baby, but yeah not pregnant, but hopefully when we actually start TTC and I take the Clomid, we will get a positive and it'll be exciting and I will uh, let y'all know, but for now, there is no baby in this belly. So, um, that's that. I'm gonna finish getting ready, get the kids together so we can head over to the pool. Okay guys, I asked y'all on Instagram. I got some really good questions already. So I figured I would just kind of do a little updated Q&A on, you know, whatever you guys wanna know. I just got my new camera in. It's actually out in the kitchen, but I got my new camera in. Um, the memory card that I ordered for it didn't come. And unfortunately the memory card that I use for this camera, it fits in my new camera, but it's chipped. And so the new camera won't read it. Although this one, my old one still reads it. I don't know why. Um, but this camera is bothering me so much. It just took me literally probably 25 minutes to, uh, get this going because the viewfinder uh, is usually on top of the camera and it keeps flipping back and forth. So I finally got it steady on like the windowsill. <laughs> I'm really hoping it doesn't fall. It's on a tripod, but like I have it like leaning a certain way and I had to do all this crazy stuff to get it to just like sit tight and let me record this going forward. I'm hopefully... When I get my memory card in, hopefully I can just use my new camera and we'll be all good. And hopefully it'll be much better quality. But yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know that things may be a little bit shaky on this part. Hopefully not. Oh no, Quentin's waking up. Oh man, go back to sleep. It's cause I took so long to set the camera up and now Quentin is awake. Let's see if I can just answer a couple questions and then I'll have to finish this a little bit later. Cause there's no way Quentin is gonna let me film um, once I get him out of his crib. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? and also a drink. Love you, girl. Okay, this is a very hard question. You guys know I love my food and drinks, but if I could only eat one for the rest of my life, I'd probably pick sushi. I was gonna say, or a lobster roll, but I'd probably get sick of the lobster roll. I'd probably do sushi. And then one drink would be, I, it would have been red wine, but that's changed obviously. So probably a spicy jalapeno margarita. Hopefully she means an alcoholic drink. Otherwise I'm gonna sound like a huge drunk, but. That's okay. Another question kind of on the same topic is three movies you'd need on a deserted island. Um, so my top three favorite movies, um, I would say Clueless, Now and Then, and Forrest Gump. 
Favorite thing about North Carolina, oh my gosh, everything you guys, just like how beautiful it is and how fresh the air smells, which sounds really weird, but I love the scent of North Carolina. It does not smell like Maryland did. It's just, there's like a certain scent. And I remember when I used to go to High Point, you know, back when I went to college in North Carolina, I remember that same like scent and it was, it's just like intoxicating. I love it. So I don't know, like the smell of the outside, and then it's just so beautiful here, especially where I live, it's like more country. So there's just so many horses when you drive around. I love all the country roads. Everyone has been extremely nice that I've met here, um, which I guess, guess is just like that Southern, you know, charm, like friendliness. So I would say all of those things. How does Clomid work? Um, so Clomid works, it, it's a pill, a fertility drug that helps you ovulate. Um, so if you have trouble ovulating or if you don't ovulate, that's when you would take something like this. And you pretty much, uh, while you're on your period, so you need to have your period, um, you can either do it days three through seven. So it's, yeah, it's five pills. <laughs> so bad at math. So either days three through seven of your period, or you can do days five through nine. I typically do three through seven. I've always done it that way. Um, you take these five pills every single day from days three through seven on your period. And then you start tracking your ovulation. Um, I think once your period finishes, you start taking ovulation tests. And my OB that I met with, um, she gave me like a schedule of when we should actually like have sex and start trying once I'm on Clomid. So she, it, I think it's like every other day from like day, whatever, after my period, I forget the exact day, um, but you try every other day and I think just like ups your chances. So yeah, that's how it works. Um, again, I had to take two rounds for each pregnancy. So the first round and I take 50 milligrams, the first round didn't work, I didn't get pregnant, um, but the second round has worked for me both times. Teeth update, building update, and is your mom moving near you yet? So, teeth update. <laughs> so weird to like just show you my teeth like this, but they're doing well. I'm not finished yet. I'm still, I think I have like another couple months of Invisalign, maybe like a month and a half or so um, of my trays. And then I think I'm finished. So I could have been, technically I was supposed to be finished like a month or two ago when I went home to see Dr. Corey Analik, um, who was my dentist. Um, well, he's the one who was doing my Invisalign back in Maryland. And so when I went to see him, like I was done, but there was a few like small things that I kind of wanted to fix. And so we just continued the Invisalign trays. And so I got a couple months more of trays just to like fix a few little things, but I'm almost finished. I'm really excited about it. Um, and then building update and is your mom moving, moving near you yet? Building update, we're, we still have not started building. Um, the land is clear and like ready to go. We need to bring in some more dirt though to level it out. But I'm hoping that we will start next year. Um, but the cost of lumber is like crazy right now. So Alex wants to wait for that to lower. Um, so we don't have like a set date for building, but I'm hoping next year we can start. And then my mom still wants to move here. Every time she comes and visits, she's gonna come visit um, for Memorial Day weekend. And every time she comes and visits, she like looks around the area and she's like always looking on Zillow and stuff like that. Um, so hopefully she will in the future, but there's like no uh, set date for that either. Which gender does Alex want next? A boy, he only wants boys. He's one of four boys. And so like, he's just used to having boys around all the time. Um, I want a girl, which I've said before, I'd love to have a daughter, but um, he wants a boy, so. What would you name another boy and a little girl? Um, so we actually were just talking about a couple more boy names that have come up recently that we both like. I don't wanna share them in case like we use them because we just talked about them and I added them to my baby name list. Um, and then my little girl name, like I have a name that I wanna use, so I don't wanna share that either in case I do have a girl. But I do have like baby names I love videos. I'll try and remember to link a couple down below. I've done like a few of them. Has Q showed any interest in potty training? I haven't started potty training him yet, but he does tell me when he has gone to the bathroom. Like he'll come up to me and say poop and just like point to his diaper. So I don't know if that's a sign or not, but he does do that. Although I haven't tried with him and I don't know exactly when I'm going to. What type of blink of fly lashes do you wear and do you put mascara on them? So I wear the classic, I wear the darling, and I wear the princess, which are the ones that I have on right now. 
Um, and I do put mascara on them sometimes, not all the time, like you don't need to, but sometimes I like them just like a little bit more dramatic, like if I'm going out or something like that, and I'll just put like a couple little um, like swipes. I'll just put a little bit of mascara on them. And it doesn't ruin them or anything in my experience. How to dress cute while being a stay-at-home mom. I love your style. Thank you so much. I feel like most of the time I'm in sweats or leggings and a t-shirt like I'm in right now. But like when I go out, I'll try and dress a little cute. So really just like, I do like Target mostly um, or like little boutiques online. Okay, I gotta go get Quentin, so I'll be right back. This is not gonna last long. What band would you like to see live? Probably CCR, Credence Clearwater Re Revival. That'd be amazing. Are you close with your sister? I get this question a lot. And anytime that I bring up my sister or I put like a picture of her up Over. on Instagram. Over. You can't have coffee. Coffee's not good for you. <laughs> honey. Oh, honey. <laughs> All right, you guys, it is much later in the day. Quentin wanted some food and then we went over to my girlfriend's house so the kids could play outside with water guns and we stayed for a little while. Then we got home, I had to get dinner ready for the kids. Um, and then I just got Quentin to bed, so it's a little after seven now. As you can see, like the bed is like a mess now with uh, Quentin and Alex's little nightly routine. They like rustle on the bed. It's like a whole thing, so by the time I get in my bed, my bed is a mess. So I don't know why I make it every day, honestly. <laughs> I'm gonna finish up um, and answer a few more questions for you guys. Um, I think I was answering the one about my sister. So I get asked this a lot. Um, people are like shocked to find out that I have a sister. I've talked about my brother a whole lot. You guys have seen him in my stories and uh, when he comes to visit and when I go to LA to visit him. But my sister, um, I guess I don't mention as much or have like a lot of pictures or videos of her. And the reason is she's kind of like Alex in the sense that she just doesn't really like being on camera. She doesn't like being filmed. She doesn't really like pictures. Um, she's not like me. I'm like, ooh, pictures, yes, you know? But my sister's not like that. She never has been. So we are very close. She is seven years older than me. She lives in DC. And yeah, it's just really because she just, she's not into like, you know, the social media thing like I am. And so um, when I'm vlogging and stuff, I just don't really vlog her much when I'm with her just because she isn't, she's not into it. So that's pretty much it. But yeah, I do have a sister and I have a brother. They're both older than me, so I'm the youngest. Um, in case you didn't know. Do people ever mistake you for a girl? My son also has long hair all the time. I'm literally shocked when someone actually like thinks he's a boy because everyone thinks that he's a girl, which I mean, I don't really get. I know that he's very pretty and like he has a bun, but like I put him in boy clothes and like to me, like he looks like a little boy, but maybe that's just cause I'm his mom and I know he's a boy, but most people think he's a girl, call him a little princess. She's so beautiful, she's so cute, blah, blah, blah. And I usually don't even correct them because like, what's the point? I'm just like, oh, thank you. You know, like, I don't really care. It doesn't bother me. Do you think Q will be kind of lost since Cam, when Cam goes to school since they're always together now? I honestly haven't really thought about that, but now that you mention it, I don't know. I'm kind of looking forward to having like the one-on-one -on -one time with Quentin because whenever I'm with Quentin, usually Cam is around unless like Cam's doing quiet time or something and Quentin wakes up and we get like 15, 20 minutes um, together. So I'm kind of interested to see how things go in the fall when Cam is in school. Um, again, I'm trying to get pregnant, so like I don't know how my days are gonna be with me hopefully being pregnant um, and then having Quentin and then Cam in school. Quentin's gonna be hopefully more independent by that time. Um, he'll be older, he'll be like two and a half in the fall. So it'll be interesting, but I'm excited to get that like one-on-one -on -one time with Quentin because I had that with Cam obviously when Cam was little before Quentin was born. But Quentin's only ever known Cam. So it'll be, it'll be interesting. Keto update, impressed with the way you jumped right back in after Disney. So keto for me really isn't that hard. I've talked about this before. I've tried a lot of different like diet and lifestyle like dieting before and I never really stick with any of it. But keto is, I think I've stuck with keto the longest out of all the ones that I've tried because for me, like I'm all about like things that taste good and I love like creamy foods and things with like a lot of spices and stuff like that. I'm not so much like a sweet person. And with keto, it's all about like high fat. So as long as like I can get a lot of that fat in, I feel like I'm full and I'm eating things that still taste good like cream sauces, cheese, butter. Like butter makes everything better, you guys. If something doesn't taste right, put a little butter in it and it'll be good. I do miss french fries. I do miss like regular pizza. I make my keto pizzas, which are great because you can dip them in ranch, just like dress them up in ranch. But I do miss like thick crust Chicago style pizza, which is what Alex and I used to eat all the time. Alex still does. 
Um, but like, you know, I can, I can deal with it. Um, in Disney, I wasn't keto. I decided to just like enjoy myself and just eat whatever. And it's also really hard. I feel like to be keto at Disney because a lot of the food, like a lot of the restaurants that we went out to had like fried foods and it was like burgers and hot dogs and chicken tenders and like pizza. I like besides like the one Asian restaurant that we went to, um, Yak and Yeti, I feel like most of the restaurants were just like American like burgers and fries and stuff. So it was, it would have been pretty hard to try to stay keto. I probably would have been starving because um, there's not that many options, but I went ahead and ate whatever I wanted in Disney. And then when I got back home, I honestly like, I kind of felt like sick because I hadn't eaten like that in so long. And then so just like going in and like going full force with like eating like crap, you know, I had stomach aches and like I was in the bathroom a lot. And then so when I got home, I was really excited to start doing keto again. Cause like it makes me feel good. So yeah, it wasn't that hard to start keto back up. How much do you weigh and how tall are you? You look amazing. Well, thank you. I honestly, I weigh the most that I've ever weighed in a long time, probably in my life, aside from when I'm pregnant, obviously, because when I'm pregnant, I weigh the most. But right now I weigh like 128. When I went to the OB, I got on the scale. My scale that I have, I don't think works. I usually am around anywhere from 120 to like 122, 123. Before I had babies, in between babies, but Ever since having Quentin, I feel like I've just held on to those like five extra pounds. Um, keto has helped, although now I'm working out a lot. So I think that some of it's muscle, like 128 for me is a high weight because I've never, like I, I usually, again, I'm like 120, 122. So I don't know why I haven't really lost um, a lot of like numbers, but I don't really care because I feel good and I feel like my clothes fit so much better, so much better. Like I could not fit into jeans for a while there. And ever since doing keto and working out consistently five days a week, I fit into my jeans. Like I feel like I look better and that's all I re really care about. I don't really care about the number. So yeah, I do right Right now I weigh 128 and I'm like 5'3 and a half. What size do you get Cam's Amazon pajamas? I usually get him, I wanna say like a 6T in pajamas because I feel like they shrink and I like them to last a while. Uh, I go for like the 6T size. Okay, so I think that is pretty much it. I've answered a lot of the questions here. I'm gonna go ahead, wrap this vlog up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave down below what you wanna see next week. Thinking about doing a cleaning video, but I, they never get good views because people know that I don't enjoy cleaning. So I feel like people don't like watching me clean since I don't like actually enjoy it, but my house needs to be cleaned really badly. So like deep cleaned. So I feel like maybe I should just film it for you guys, but let me know down below if that's something you would wanna see. I don't know, we'll see. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next one.